again. It's Monday, January 22nd, 2018. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Allegheny Highlands Chamber of Commerce has four new board members. Kara Caldwell, Ingrid Barber, Aaron Huffman, and John Stone have now joined the governing board. Leaving the board were Wes Walker, Kurt Fiesel, Darren Reed, and Kester Dingus. Ninth District Congressman Morgan Griffith released a statement on Saturday strongly criticizing the Democratic leader of the U.S. Senate, Chuck Schumer, for shutting down the U.S. government. Senator Schumer and his Democratic Senate colleagues have chosen to shut down the government for their own political purposes, he said. There is nothing in the continuing resolution passed by the House of Representatives on January 18th that they object to. A vote was taken in the Senate on Monday, however, that should lead to a reopening of the government soon. Apple Folks of America will be sponsoring a really cool artist in concert at the Clifton Ford School of the Arts on Saturday, March 24th. The only three-time winner of the National Flat Picking Guitar Championships, Steve Kaufman, will entertain what may be a sold-out audience. More information is now available on AlleghenyJournal.com. And we'll be right back. Boys Home Basketball coach Jason Cordova took a moment on Friday to speak with Journal TV about the team season. But later, the team lost a very close contest by a single point. Listen. Journal found Jason Cordova, <laughs> head coach of Boys Home here. Jason, what are you playing tonight? What's the prospects at your game? Uh, well, we're looking at running a fast break, crushing the, pressing them on defense, just constantly hustling on the ball, making them adapt to us, making them work for everything they come here for. How's your season going so far this year? Better than last year. We uh, got off to a slow start in the tournament. We bounced back since then. We've had a lot of uh, returning players come back for grades, and uh, we're looking really good right now. Journal TV interviewed Boys Home Executive Director Donnie Wheatley last Thursday and included a segment in our Friday's newscast. Here's Donnie on why his organization wants to increase educational opportunities there. Watch. Uh, back around uh, in the late 90s, we recognized that we need to do something different. And so we've, we've been pointing towards that. So, so I see this as something that we started a long time ago that's not yet finished. And, and I still have a lot of, uh, of energy towards fixing it or finishing it rather, not fixing it, finishing it, and, and, play, and put the place in a position to, to really uh, do what you set out to do a long time ago. And, and I, uh, I draw my energy from This will be a very busy week for area governments. The Iron Gate Town Council is holding a work session later tonight. The Clifton Forge Town Council meets tomorrow night, as does the Covington School Board. The Allegheny County School Board meets on Wednesday, and then the Iron Gate Town Council meets Thursday night. And now a word from our sponsor. Let's check out some upcoming events.
And now for local obituaries. Dana Downey, 69, of Clifton Forge, died on Friday. Her funeral was held earlier today at the Nicely Funeral Home. Luther Gibson, 67, of Covington, died on Friday. A visitation will be held later this evening at the Loving Funeral Home. Bessie Wolf, formerly of Lexington, died on January 14th. Her funeral was held last Saturday in Strasburg. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 53 and a low of 31. On Wednesday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 43 and a low of 27. And on Thursday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 45 and a low about 25 degrees. And remember, there's good news. There's only 56 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Monday, January 22, 2018. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.